Living Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Hi Libra, welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Ooh, holding on, like I said, holding on to something. Four of Pentacles. Holding on to something after either it's hard for you to let go of an ending because it, this is like something's something ended. Something's trying to spirit is either trying to act something here or spirit is saying you need to let go and change. Don't deny this transformation. Don't deny this death and rebirth process, but you're still holding on to these three pentacles. You even got one on your head. <laughs> okay. Oh my. What else? What's the current energy for the collective? Holding on, I'm telling you. Oh, money, money, money. All right. Money. Ten of Pentacles just came out. What's going on here? Hmm. You could be saving your money. All right. Some of you guys may have some goals when it comes to money and your family. Some of you all might be saving to buy a home. You could be saving to put your children through school or college or to help your family or something here. Maybe someone here even has some expenses, some medical bills or expenses. You're saving. Some of y'all saving for the future. Okay. Show me the collective's current energy, please. Three of... Um, that's a two of wands. And I don't know why I feel like that's a three of wands. Yeah, you're thinking about something from the past. Six of, six of cups. Holding on to something. And I feel, yep, and there goes that dang on strength card. What are you holding on to? She's holding this lion very, very tight. Leo energy here. It's time for you to let go of something and heal. Okay? Sagittarius temperance energy. The four of cups. In this, in this deck, the person in the four of cups is pouring out whatever this is. Right? Spirit gave them this and they just poured it out. They're like, nope, I don't want it. I don't know. I don't want it. Maybe this is you. Maybe you have somebody in your energy who's missing you that can't let you go. And somebody here is holding back and healing. There was some, some form of conflict, five of wands, over a connection, two of cups. So you and this person, ooh, yeah, okay. I don't know what y'all have going on here. Let me see. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like y'all are both holding on to each other because in this two of wands, this two of wands card here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, this two of wands, both of these people are touching each other. They're both holding this globe of this world in their hands. It's like waiting and planning. I don't, I, we'll see. What is this about? What is this about? What is this about? There's definitely some energy here of a dog or somebody's got a pet. Okay, I don't know what the, why that is here. All right, confession. Somebody wants to tell you that they like you. I feel like somebody here wants to tell you how they feel and they want to open up and tell you how. <sighs> Tell you how they're feel, feeling. They want to take a chance, I feel like, on love. I feel like somebody wants to take a chance on love. They want to trust and follow their intuition and open up their heart. Okay. Now, some of you all, whoever this past person is that you can't let go, that this person has some form of addiction or gambling problem or issue with their finances here. That could have been also what this Four of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles was about. There's an energy of like trusting. What? Why is this intuition energy here? Okay. Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Okay. So you're manifesting something. Trust that you're manifesting something new and you can let go of the old is what's, what, what it's giving. Why is intuition here? Yeah, challenges. It's like you're, you're, you, you know you've manifested something or you're trying really hard. You're trying really hard to work on your inner healing and let go of whatever this thing is from the past. But I feel like whatever these challenges are, it's causing some form of conflict. What is this challenge about? Hmm. Okay, thank you. There is some form of karmic cycle happening here. Okay, there is some form of karmic cycle happening here. The thing is, there's something new trying to come in for you, 
Okay, that's the energy here. It's like there's an energy of you needing to move on from the, some of y'all are dealing with somebody here who you want commitment with, but they are not able to give it to you or you've gone through some form of challenges with this person and it's like you you can't get it off the ground. Okay? There've been a lot of challenges moving towards creating a family or being in a relationship, whatever it is. It's like you want things to get serious here with this commitment energy and this honeymoon energy, but I feel like the energy this is the challenge the challenge is you staying in in a uh, it's a karmic cycle with this person i don't really know what to say some of you all this could be resonating for you you could be a taurus virgo or a capricorn show me more here of what this situation is about uh oh what was that yeah somebody's missing you Somebody is missing you. All right, let's see. Hold on. Let's unawaken. Yeah. There's definitely somebody here who's, yep, yeah, definitely unawakened and in some form of an illusion. Move on from the illusion of them so you don't lose yourself in loving them. So somebody's having a hard time letting go of something. Somebody's trying to clean up their life and start, some, and they want to open up their heart to something new. But they're either a they have either this is you having a hard time moving on into something new because something is trying to be manifested something new for you right wants to come in but there could be an energy a past energy a past person that's blocking that or this is you still needing to do some form of healing here okay for some of y'all like I said um, and then yeah see we have one person who's awakened and another person who's not okay so flip and switch where you where you feel comfortable, right? You could be the one who feels unawakened or you could feel like you are awakened. It's it's like things are not moving at the or progressing at the rate that you really thought they were progressing at and or things came to a halt, a screeching halt. Somebody here wants to come into union with you that misses you. Some of y'all this is a soulmate. Look at this. See, their their plans to explore their options fail. They realize it doesn't make them happy. So for some of y'all, this person could have, I don't know, this past person anyway, just saw, was seeing somebody else for some of y'all. There's some form of karmic cycle. Let me see what else. Let me pull another day. Show me what else this is about. Show me this past person's energy. That's missing the collective. Yeah, this person is definitely karmic cycle. Somebody's a liar. Somebody's a liar. Yeah, and there's definitely an overindulgence or or like toxic devil energy here. Because the overindulgence energy just came out. Somebody, either this person was greedy, selfish... Definitely has some selfish and greedy tendencies here. And this person lied to get whatever it is that they wanted from you. I mean, for some of y'all, this person just lies just to boost their ego. Some of you, they just lie just to get whatever it is that they want at that time. And that means like if they wanted you at that time, they lied to you. They went over here and things came to a screeching halt temporarily or whatever. They went over to somebody else. But either way, this person's missing you and stalking you. And watching you or keeping tabs on you, whatever, whatever way, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. show me more here about this person. For some of y'all, this is somebody here who definitely is what's on the outside versus what's on the inside. Somebody cares more about how some shit looks than how some how their inside looks or, or the person that they truly are. Like when you look, this person looks really good on the outside. They might be very sexy, very attractive, very well put together for some of y'all. But who this person is on the inside is trash. Yeah, somebody's manipulative as shit. Somebody's love bombing. Look at this energy. Being controlled and surprised gifts. So for some of y'all, this person used their looks, they used their money, or they used their resources, or they love bombed you quite a bit, or they could have spoiled you, or this person's always making up. 
this is borderline emotional abuse. Or you just feel it stuck to them. I don't, I don't. This is crazy. All right, what else? I mean, it's not crazy because we all go through some things. I don't mean that. I don't mean to be disrespectful because it's not. You know, we all have our, we all have our hangups, okay? Show me more about this situation. Somebody's awakening and they want to talk to you and come towards you. You could be dating somebody here online here, or this is just this person watching you and stalking you online. Yep, there goes that reconciliation and on the table. Telling you this person now wants to reconcile, but be careful. I don't know if, you know, I'll see if this person has good intentions in a minute, but... This person is trying to, you know, work up the courage to come towards you and come out of some form of illusion. Yeah, this person wants to reveal the truth to you. But I feel like, I still feel like they're hiding something here because this announcement and this expression and revealing came out in reverse. And so in the truth and expression card came out before that. And they, these, these, both of these cards, um, and this person's wearing a mask in this truth and expression, right? Both of these cards came out crossing. So you may not even be talking to this person or they may have ghosted you. For some of y'all, this person could have lied about, they may come towards you and lie to you about why they ghosted you. That's not for everybody. Show me more about this situation. What is this? Hold on. Mm -mm. Somebody's stuck in their head so bad. Listen, somebody's stuck in their head. There's somebody's like stuck, feeling stuck, trapped. They could feel be feeling stuck and trapped in another situation here, or they could be feeling stuck and it's stuck and trapped with another karmic, or you could feel stuck and trapped like you, to this person's energy, or this person still feels your energy around them. They just feel stuck and trapped with your energy. They can't let you go. They miss you. Like they can't stop thinking about you, the memories or whatever. Like this person, I mean, so I'm not. I don't, maybe for some of y'all, this person could be in jail, but either way, I feel like this person wants to apologize and they want your forgiveness, but low key, I just still feel like, show me those. This person is acting like they don't care and they do care. They do care. Yeah, they're having an awakening. <laughs> Oh, they are having an, an, an awakening for sure. Dreaming about you, fantasizing about you. The Six of Cups energy, like I said. Ooh, this person is definitely dreaming about you sexually, you guys. I'm telling you, this person, if they act like they didn't care or they're unbothered, that's not true. They're bothered. The two of you walked away for a reason, okay? Or not, and, and keep that in mind. Show me what else here. All right. Yeah, see, this person, this person, this person was not trusting their intuition. Somebody here wasn't trusting their intuition. Ace of Cups, listen. Somebody here could be trying to get a divorce or they want to get a divorce here. For those of you who are dealing with a situation where there's some form of, there goes some fucking stalking. I'm telling you, somebody's watching you. Watching you. The person who's acting like they're unbothered is watching you. They are bothered. They are completely and totally bothered as shit. They're bothered as shit. What's going on? Okay, well... So what does this person want with the collective, please? What is this past person? Child, they want another cycle with you. The world card, the knight of pentacles, and the nine of wands. They want another cycle with you. But here's the thing. It's almost like you're walking away, but spirit is telling you, like, stand your ground. Stand your ground. Stand up for yourself. 
maybe this person is ending a cycle somewhere else and they want to, they're slowly moving towards you and they want to make this work and stand their ground for themselves. I don't, what is this person's intentions here towards the collective? Child, the moon, cancer, and king of cups. Somebody's so damn emotional. Look at this. This is in somebody so emotional. You could be dealing with a water sign, but you don't have to be. Even if this person is not a water sign, this king of cups is in their feelings. This thing on masculine is in his feelings so much, even though he's acting like he's unbothered. He is not. He's so bothered. Girl, he sis, bro. He, they are bothered. Okay, don't believe the hype. This person is hiding their emotions. <sighs> Show me more about this King of Cups. What do they want with my collective? Mm -mm. King of Swords in reverse. This person, this person, like I said, didn't I say on the outside they come across as something they're totally different on the inside? Maybe this person is reflecting on that, but somebody said something real hurtful to you or they treated you some kind of way that you did not deserve. And that could be what they're awakening to with this King of Swords in reverse here. Because the King of Swords in reverse is definitely somebody who lies through their damn teeth. They're definitely a pathological love bomber and liar. Ace of Cups. This person want this Ace of Cups just came out again. They want to reconcile with you, okay? Ace of Water is here twice. Two different decks. Child, no. Yep, they want to say I'm sorry, Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Because they're in all this fucking regret. They put you in a stalemate or they didn't make a decision or they were in denial about something. Some form of behavior. Ego pride with the strength card. In this four of cups. Show me more about this King of Swords in reverse, though. Yeah. So, yeah. I feel like Leo energy, you could be dealing with a Leo, the sun. I'm just clarifying this King of Swords in reverse with the sun card. And it's you guys, it's like something was real. You saw what this person was like. This person couldn't hide who they really were on the inside, right? Eventually, this bullshit came to surface and you realized who, this, and who the hell this person was. Or they may want to come towards you and tell you they're single or whatever. Show me more about this King of Swords in reverse. This person want to talk. Page of Wands. Show me more about this King of Swords in reverse. The Wheel. Show me more about this. This, this person feels like this is a destined connection. And they want to be they want to be a little bit more open. Now this person wants to be more open with you. There goes that two of wands again. Show me more here. What's the why is the two of wands here? Queen of wands. Show why is the two of wands here? Judgment. Three of wands. Scorpio energy and Leo energy here. Show me this Queen of Wands energy. This person is definitely reflecting. They may have made the wrong decision. Why is it? Show me this Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands? Show who is this Queen of Wands. Okay, the person that they holding on. This is you. They're holding on to you. They're holding on to you. They see you as this very attractive, beautiful, mystical, independent, queen of pentacles and queen of wands type deal. They're still holding on to you. Knight of cups, queen of pentacles, four of pentacles. They're still holding on to your ass. They're still holding on to you. <laughs> They still in their head. Look at this energy. Look at the energy this person is in. They're like, oh my God, oh my God. This person is stressed and pressed, honey. Seven of Wands. They can't stop thinking about you. Six of Cups. But see, you block them. I feel like you, for some of y'all, you definitely block them. This is your soulmate because I'm seeing this Queen of Swords underneath this day. You turned your back to the person who lied to you and deceived you. You know, this Queen of Swords is like, has her back facing 
Like these lies. You turned your back away from this person and you set boundaries with them. It's too much drama and conflict or something. You know, I don't, I just, let me see. So is this person ready? Is this person ready? Have they really awakened? Are they ready? Mm. Is this person ready? No, girl. Mm -mm. They not ready. They not re Look at this. They're still in this energy of holding back. They know they held back from you in the past and they know they should have been honest with you from the from jump and they should have expressed themselves and their emotions better and they do want to have a conversation with you about this but they held back from you because they wanted to go play around. They sabotaged the connection by dealing with a third party with this sabotage energy and this third party energy and I'm telling you, listen, when I ask the question, let me show you these three cards that came out if this person was ready. They're not ready. Habits came out, runner came out, and indecisive came out. They're still not ready. They're still not ready. They ran away from you. They didn't know what they want. This person is not even sure if they're ready to even change. They know that their inability to make this decision, it's like they can't let you go, but they can't make a decision. What? What is that? I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what that is. Um, show me what else about this person. Mm -mm. This person can't stop thinking about you. But they are still confused and unclear about what they want from you. Or like where the two of you stand. And that's their fault. That's their own fault. Look at this. Confusion. Broken. I feel shattered about this situation. So they so this is them in there and they feel guilty. So the problem is here, the, the only reason this person is thinking about you and they can't let you go is because they're realizing like what how what a what a what a awful they were not good to you. Okay. Um they could have given you more. And since the two, this is a situation where you separated yourself from them or you distanced yourself from them and you stopped talking to them. And then now this person was forced to understand or see themselves or realize that or maybe they're getting karma. I don't know. It's one or the other. They just now they're in this brokenness, in this guilt energy, and this person is confused. And honestly, like there's nothing you could do to help this person any damn way because they are like, they got some healing and growing to do. Okay, I just, whatever. That's all I'm going to say. I love y'all. Let's see what other energy is coming towards you. Tower moment. Hmm. Show me more. What, what, show me future energy for the collective. Wishbone. A wish is going to be granted. Dealing with a relationship with a woman or dark complexion or dark hair. Somebody here could, somebody's birthday could be in June. What's the future energy here? So you're either dealing with some of you all, either have fair hair, blonde hair, gray hair, or dark, dealing with somebody with a dark complexion or dark hair. Show me future energy. But you do have some sort of wish here um, that's coming in for you after you've put in some form of hard work. Okay, I feel like uh, mm, a stubborn, aggressive person. Who is this stubborn and aggressive person? Time to go out and have fun. I, I don't know. Are you stubborn? In it? Are you stubborn? It's time for you to relax and go have some fun. Okay. September could be significant for you. Somebody here could be a Virgo. Keep your life in balance. If you're feeling busy and overwhelmed, Spirit is saying like you might need to scale back. It says you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. So whatever this wish is that's coming in for you is going to be really good with this diamond energy here and the wishbone energy. So make a wish. 
make a wish, okay? Uh, I just feel like you guys will feel like there's something lacking in your life right now, regardless if it's love, money, or goals, or whatever. Uh, Spirit is saying, focus more on bringing balance back into your work life, your play life, your personal life, okay? Because it is a little bit out of whack. You might be working too hard, or you might need to open up yourself to something, or continue to healing, or whatever this is. Uh, I feel like whatever this is that's coming in towards you, that's going to be a good wish. Like, there is going to be some work involved in it. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Let's get you some more advice here from this deck. What advice do we have for the collective? What other advice do we have for the collective? Yeah, somebody's got control issues. Spirit is telling you to let go of control. Okay, I don't know what you're trying to control here. It says, utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. So open up your heart a little bit, okay? And then we have, make time for your self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. So remember, we just talked about bringing balance back into your life, work, play. Make sure you're not doing too much of one or the other. It looks like you need to relax and go have a little bit of fun. And this is life-changing epiphany or experience. So it says it's a time of a big and blessed change for you. And uh, God is supporting you each step of the way. Okay, so you are being supported during these life changes and it looks like you have a wish fulfillment or something coming in here. Some of y'all, that could be new love. For some of y'all, it's money, career, whatever that is. I do re I do feel like it's going to require a little bit more work on your part. For some of y'all, that's got to do with love. That's just spirit telling you to heal, okay? For some of y'all, if you do more healing work and open up your heart a little bit and then let go of that damn past karmic person because they're not ready, they're still confused, they still don't know what the hell they want. Do they miss you? Yes. Do they love you? Yes. Do they want to reconcile? Yes, they do, but they're still in this whole raggedy-ass, trashy energy, okay? I love y'all, but I'm just going to keep it real. And if this does not resonate for you, please just leave it, okay? Because there have been some people in the comments lately who are feeling triggered and projecting things you know making these little comments and you know i don't give everything my attention because it doesn't deserve it i don't do that um i just ignore it or i will just block you okay so just keep it moving if it's not your energy and doesn't resonate that is okay my love i i love y'all um you know sometimes it's not your message you're welcome to get a personal reading if that's what you would like or go watch your sun moving or sun moon or rising sign or just you know go to another reader if y'all rocking with me i love y'all and appreciate y'all hit the like button and subscribe to the channel uh for those of you who supported me from the beginning i appreciate you all but like some things i don't give my energy to and i will just won't say shit and i'll just block you so just i'm a thug about it i don't have to say shit i love y'all